What yep. a novel concept, Rich. <laughs> very, very novel. Someone and needs to tell Vancouver and Montreal how that works. They don't understand that. They don't understand it. And actually, sadly, they don't appear this to care. Afternoon, uh, on the field, not because they're Canadians, but because they deserve to be. And and the more you can play them, I, Eustachio needs man of, he's a young man of great potential. Yeah, you look at the Pan Am games, they could have used yeah, a could. player of his caliber. Kind of, uh, Carl Howarth did the right thing. He tried to chip him, but Zeus is, he's a big man. He's six foot six. He's a, he's a, he's Socrates a, is the, is the neatest name in soccer. Oh, there you go. And he was a terrific player. Sixth minute, nil, nil. Here at TD Place, Atlanta in possession as they Tom Heineman taken quickly by the Silverbacks. There were one or two early touches on Heineman that were rough and tough, just like happened to him on the weekend, but he's not a man to back off. And if he's, uh, he, he'll be in there making sure that they realize that he can give as good as he gets. Maravich plays it. Back to their central defender, Mensing. Ottawa half. Michael Reed, wide right for Rashawn McKenzie. Able to keep it in play, gets it back for Maravich, the Slovak. Quite now a Mensing. Of, quite a bit of shadow boxing going on here, AJ. Nobody's, uh, nobody's committing too many men too far forward. But, uh, the Silver Blacks are playing. 3-2, three, 3-3. Three, three. Is that right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, nine. No, it can't be right. 3-2, three, 2-3. Two, two, three. I mean, it's a strange, it's a strange looking setup. Suddenly they're pushing five men forward. But only three men at the back, and when you've got Mensing who's not quick, that's a bit risky, I feel. Ball flicked on. Hit it too hard. Silverbacks push forward now. It's Maravich. Wide right, Rashawn McKenzie. Take an extra couple of touches and beat the man and bring it down. No, he took a, he took a good poke at it. And here's, here's something that I think they should be keeping a close Locked eye on. Now to Michael Reed. Back inside the Atlanta half for Maravich. He'll play it to Mensing. Is Atlanta comfortable just having possession? Far from the Ottawa goal. Rashawn McKenzie. To Mensing. Now Maravich. Wide left, Isahaku. Maravich. Wide right, McKenzie. Sends this forward, gets it back just inside the Atlanta half. Moves it into the middle for Maravich. Wide left for Paul Black. Headed away by Ryan Richter. This will be an Atlanta throw. Into the middle for Maravich. Wide right, McKenzie. Back into the middle, Maravich. To Rashawn McKenzie. Fans Liverpool fans for life. And sometimes they differ in the same families, or often. So uh, right then, he's, uh, he's, he has got Mensing beaten for pace. That's, I think that's a dangerous little spot for the uh, for Atlanta. Max working across the back three now in a central midfield for Maravich. Wide left for Isahaku, Maravich, wide right. <laughs> Maybe uh, even if it took a wide right, it could have hit local or Joey's, one of the uh, many fine establishments here at Oseg on that Junior Burgos free kick. Was Might it? have been the worst free kick in TD Place history. <laughs> I think you're probably right. Here FC were looking for a free kick, they don't get it. Now, they're going to get this one. Oh, that's got to be a card. That has to be a card. He's walking away. He knows it's a card. They oh, just bulldozed him to the ground. No doubt about that one. Pearl Howarth was the player who was fouled, and Michael Maravich, the Slovak, in the book. So that's two yellow cards against Atlanta, Pedro Mendez, and now. Michael Moravich. And that, he knew. He knew. Yeah, he knew. He did it and he just walked off. Straight home match for Fury FC as they host the Railhawks. Boy, if they could get four points from these next two matches, you'd love to put a win. It was a pretty soft one. Don't think there was anything wrong there. 
Reminder that all goals in today's match brought to you by Athens Rugs. After the goal fest on Sunday against Indy. 4-2 Ottawa winning. Compared to the last two games we've seen, this is a, what I would call pedantic. It's slow. It's very slow. And Cuts to the middle towards the center circle. Now to Moravich. He's on a yellow. There's something, some, there's something missing here. And uh, there we are. Quite like to see Mark Vesantis in charge, not us. Should mention as we're back underway here, the uh, available players as subs for Ottawa. Backup keeper Marcel de Bellis, defender Drew Becky in midfield. Sanisha will be uh, Word from the fourth official how much stoppage time, and it's going to be a minimum of two minutes. At least he shows us how long now nowadays, AJ. Depends on a fourth official. No changes for either side. Fury FC moving right to left here in the second half towards the supporters section. With their black kits, red and white stripes. White shorts, white socks moving from left to right here in the second half as we are underway. Silverbacks send this forward. And here's Pedro Mendes, the left back and right back in their uh, defensive three. Scrappy start to this second half. Let's hope somebody can get the ball, keep the ball on the ground and start moving it. It's long floating balls in both directions and not helping anybody, certainly not the flow. Things, they'll need to get one and that'll certainly open things up a little bit more. But that's chested down by Heineman, but Atlanta gains possession, Moravich. And Atlanta quite comfortable just holding possession inside their own half. I haven't got anything to say. Out for a goal kick. Fury back in possession here in the 55th minute. Looking to open the scoring here. And we've got another free kick given against Atlanta. Davies, Davies is fouled. Yeah, he took another knock. Huh. Yep, the ball had gone and he was brought down. Covers so much ground. And he took that beautifully. Just for someone who hadn't scored a horse Atlanta to Press forward for the equalizer. Yeah, could change this game. It could uh, wake it up and uh, cause a fury, fury win, fury win. Oh, and a Howarth. Win. Plays this high into the air, chested down by Eustachiu. Atlanta wins possession here, right at the halfway line. possession like that idea was good execution poor which is for Richie Ryan doesn't elf often get set 65th touch line next to the fourth official waiting to be subbed in the ball in to the middle for Carl Howard the Ottawa goal scorer Howard that was caught from behind it's a good Challenge there as Atlanta wins it back. Just as easily as And the second half, we haven't really seen very much of him. He hasn't, he hasn't had much of the ball, much opportunity. Falve wins a header just outside the Ottawa penalty. Little to play for here. And the Fury need to be stepping it up. And they need to bring bringing in an out. They'll probably bring in somebody else. Maybe Yubi Parapovic, I would guess. I'm not sure. Um, but he plays do. that skipper role, doesn't he? He's just good at it. So that goal in the 73rd minute. Spaces at the back. And I have a suspicion that uh, Ali Alberto Hassan has quite a bit of pace. I'm happy to say from the spectator's point of view. Yeah, night and day. Well, we knew it was going to change when yep. Ottawa scored a goal because Atlanta yep. forced to play a different style. You're right. 